deal with this composite water management yes composite water management index so few things you need to remember about this it is published by which body niti aayog prelims level fact i told you often they ask that which report is published by whom so you need to remember that niti aayog publishes composite water management index uh, it was introduced around 5 years ago not very important just remember niti aayog introduced it niti aayog has reportedly designated the report for state water management progress for this year for internal use means before 2018 the niti aayog was publishing this report for public view anyone can view this but now it is only for internal use of the government it is not available for public view basically a uh, why they have done this iska koi reason to nahi diya unhone but as far as i can believe maybe bad publicity because some states uh, who are not very well progressing in this they it become a point of criticism but i have always told you if you are hiding datas it's very bad whatever kind of data you have whether good or bad you must publish it if it's bad data then people will get to know and they will create pressure on the government to take measures if you will not publish data then what will happen somebody will publish data maan lete hain some foreign agency will publish a data on water management in india then you will cry it out ki bhai it is a foreign conspiracy so why you are leaving the space for them come in why you are leaving space for them make your indicator so that nobody can blame you for something ab kya hoga you are not publishing this somebody will publish you are like it is foreign propaganda which may be i have told you whatever we do we do from a perspective this is for example a person born in america will be always biased for liberal values a person born in china may be biased for communist values so that person if maan lete tomorrow china publishes a report on good governance so they will give preference to the state governance if a report is published by america on good governance on which thing they will give preference state governance or private governance private governance sabko samajh mein aaya it always depend from yeah, which yeah. it always depend from which scenario you are dealing with so every report every survey is always biased in terms of value of the person who created the survey this select those indicators so why you are leaving this space so they, there is no clear classification or there is no clear justification ki why they have done this but we know this that from now on niti aayog publishes composite water management index but it is not available in public view it is for internal consumption of the government theek okay? hai please remember that now let us see what it has matlab uh, the previous surveys which were published what they are talking about india is experiencing severe water crisis with significant economic livelihood and ecological consequences and we know already this we have discussed this multiple times i hope you remember green revolution and side effects maine ko batata green revolution mein we introduce hyv seeds high yield variety understand they are variety not hybrids to maan lete prelims mein there is a question consider following statement about hyv seeds first point is they are a hybrid variety of a crop wrong hybrid is different variety is different so these are varieties not hybrid crops hybrid crops are different crop so please remember this these are varieties only not hybrids <clears throat> what is the prime difference between hybrids and variety that science and tech mein aap padhenge mujhe itna idea nahi hai science and tech ka but itna mujhe pata hai ki both are different so do not confuse them theek hai to what was the problem when we introduce hyv seeds they require two things compulsorily irrigation and fertilizers fertilizers so you can purchase from the market but then you have irrigation india mein there is a problem we carry out flood irrigation we basically flood the entire farm so you put a seed hyv seed then you apply fertilizer and then you are doing flood irrigation because of this a large amount of water is not absorbed by the crops it runs off polluting the lakes and whatever you have and also it penetrates inside the earth leading to eutrophication of lakes eutrophication means overloaded nutrients what happens with overloading of nutrients as nutrients become very large algae develops over the surface aapne dekha hoga na the greenish kind of algae they are different kind of algae so a algae develop over the surface it cuts off the sun rays getting into the water body and so the plants water plants are unable to generate oxygen in the water and so all the species within the water dies 
दिस इज कॉल्ड यूट्रॉफिकेशन सबको समझ आया इट इजिकेशन सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ड्रामा वी आर लीडिंग टू यूट्रॉफिकेशन ऑफ लेक द लेक्स इन इंडिया आर डाइंग एट रेपिड पेस प्लस टू दैट you are using flood irrigation that leads to penetration of water inside the ground polluting your ground water as well a same source ko you are tapping for two purposes first you are extracting water for irrigation same source you are tapping for drinking water because of this you are having a polluted drinking water that's why this statement is there india is facing a severe water crisis with significant economic economic because the crops are failing for example punjab haryana punjab haryana has increasingly the soil in punjab haryana is becoming arid soil jabki wo arid hai nahi punjab and haryana has a abundant river system that two perennial rivers coming from himalayas there are two kind of river perennial and temporary one which ha huh? seasonal rivers which which have water on season and do not have water for remaining time all himalayan rivers are perennial river they have water for always and for example in this water system it goes from punjab and haryana particularly the panchnad they call it uh, satluj bias jhelum and all rabi and wall in the system ka in spite of having perennial rivers punjab and haryana is developing arid soils why they are developing arid soil same reason they are doing excessive fertilizers use and that is a economic disaster it is also leading ecological disaster you are killing species in lakes and you are killing diversity around the country and livelihood question If the soil become bad, then you may not be able to sustain your livelihood. मान लेते हैं this year you grow a good crop. अब soil is getting bad, तो next year crop is no guarantee. क्योंकि whether that crop will survive in the current conditions or not. That's why he is list. That's why this report is listing India is facing a severe water crisis. That's why it is often said. I think we have done this earlier also. M S Swami Nathan का जब मैंने करवाया था मैं समझाया था. M S Swami Nathan has given a concept known as forever agriculture or ever green green revolution one is green revolution that we witnessed in 1960s 70s what he is talking about ever green revolution ever green revolution means sustainable agriculture not only food production but also keeping care of ecology environment health and everything theek okay, hai please remember that jaldi se dekhte hain India has around 18% of world population you know that India is now the most populous country in on earth we have surpassed china and we have only 4% of fresh water resources so this is a good point you need to remember ye directly nahi puchega koi but in mains when you are making arguments tab aap iska istemal karenge india has 18% of around population of the world and it has only 4% of water resources over 82 crore people matlab कितना हो गया लगभग वन थर्ड से भी ज्यादा ओवर 82 करोड़ पीपल इन इंडिया लिव्स इन पर कैपिटा वाटर वेयर वाटर पर कैपिटा वाटर अवेलेबिलिटी इज लेस देन 1000 मेट्रिक क्यूब इट इज अ थ्रेशोल्ड ऑफ वाटर स्कार्सिटी मींस दैट मेजॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया इज लिविंग इन एरियाज वेयर देयर इज स्कार्सली अवेलेबल ड्रिंकिंग वाटर अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ वाटर एंड अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग वाटर टू डिफरेंट थिंग्स जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल 74 परसेंट ऑफ अर्थ इज वाटर बट इट इज नॉट अ ड्रिंकेबल वाटर इट्स ओशियन वाटर व्हिच इज नॉट ड्रिंकेबल यू हैव ओनली वन परसेंट ऑफ एंटायर वाटर ऑन अर्थ दैट इज ड्रिंकेबल वाटर एंड मेजॉरिटी ऑफ दैट इज इन ग्लेशियर्स ग्लेशियर्स फ्रोजन आर्टिक सर्कल एंड अंटार्कटिक सर्कल बेसिकली ठीक है अप्रोक्सीमेटली सिक्सटी ऑफ इंडिया पॉपुलेशन रिसाइड इन गेंजीज रिवर बेसिन रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर नियरली फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ कंट्रीज जी means the ganga river system is the backbone of india's economic particularly agriculture economic system now ganga is witnessing unprecedented low water level in recent summer season why it is happening numerous reason first is over exploitation of river water second construction of unnecessary dams and diversion of water for industrial purposes most important thing is climate change climate change aapko pata hai what is climate change erratic weather क्लाइमेट चेंज का मतलब होता है व्हेन यू हैव इरेटिक वेदर व्हिच यू कैन नॉट प्रेडिक्ट एंड नाउ एडेज यू आर सीइंग ना यू हैव सीवियर कोल्ड वेव एंड देन यू हैव सीवियर हॉट वेव वी हैव एक्सट्रीम इवेंट्स दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम विद क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड अगेन रिमेंबर वी आर वरिंग अबाउट क्लाइमेट चेंज नॉट फॉर द अर्थ बट फॉर आवर सेल्फ बिकॉज़ क्लाइमेट चेंज विल इंपैक्ट अस मोर नैरो इकोलॉजी इट इज कॉल्ड ठीक है रिमेंबर दैट इंडिया हैज एनुअल यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ वाटर रिसोर्सेज अराउंड 690 बिलियन क्यूबिक मीटर and from surface water and for something itna so absolute figure do not remember but remember which is the largest 
सोर्स ऑफ ड्रिंकेबल और यूटिलाइजेबल वाटर इन इंडिया सरफेस वाटर वी यूज मोर सरफेस वाटर देन ग्राउंड वाटर दिस थिंग यू नीड टू रिमेंबर यू कॉम बिकॉज यूपीएससी प्लेज इन लैंग्वेज वो दे विल राइट इन पिल्लिम पॉइंट दैट इंडिया मेजोरिटी ऑफ इंडिया वाटर यूटिलाइजेशन इज थ्रू ग्राउंड वाटर एंड यू विल बी लाइक हाँ ये तो सही बात है बिकॉज ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन में हमने बात समझी थी एग्रीकल्चर डिफरेंट है वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ओवरऑल यूटिलाइजेशन एग्रीकल्चर में तो मेजोरिटी ऑफ द वॉटर इज ग्राउंड वाटर इफ एग्रीकल्चर लिखा है उसमें इन एग्रीकल्चर मेजोरिटी ऑफ द वॉटर यूज इज फ्रॉम ग्राउंड वाटर बट ओवरऑल यूज में सरफेस वाटर इज मोर देन ग्राउंड वाटर ठीक है प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट डिस्पाइट प्रोजेसिंग सरफेस वाटर रिसोर्सेज आई टोल्ड यू पेरिनियल रिवर्स वी हैव वी हैव गुड ग्राउंड वाटर nearly 62% of irrigation 85% rural water supply and 45% of urban water supply means our water resource surface water resource like rivers and ground waters contribute to majority of irrigation and most important majority of rural water supply urban mein that is not maximum urban mein to we have processed water jaise delhi jal board provides in delhi it's the processed water which is processed it direct sources ki baat ho rahi hai clear so all points which are listed in this कॉलम और वट एवर इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिमेंबर दैम और इसके लिए मैंने आपको समझाया भी था वट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन मेक अपरेट बुक ऑफ फैक्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम योर क्लास नोट विच यू नीड टू अपडेट फ्रॉम करंट अफेयर एंड टेस्ट सीरीज यू हैव टू मेक सेपरेट बुक्स ऑल्सो नैरो बुक्स वन इज वन बुक फॉर फैक्ट्स एंड कॉन्सेप्ट बिकॉज यू ऑफन फर्गेट द नेम ऑफ स्कॉलर्स यू ऑफन फर्गेट द नेम ऑफ हु गिव द कंसेप्ट उसके लिए क्या करना यू हैव टू मेंटेन अपरेट बुक उसमें चैप्टर वाइज लिख लीजिएगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू विल राइट क्वालिटी all the scholars that you have witnessed in polity write their name put a arrow and concept name only no details isse kya hoga you have a concise book which you can revise same you have to do for definitions definitions comes handy in mains introduction chapter because for introduction part when you have to write a mains answer you have to write introduction introduction mein you need definitions aapke paas hoti nahi hai uske liye what you have to do is make a separate thin book in which you will write scholars arrow concepts second you will write definition one liner definition which will help you to write good introduction and second book you have to make for facts particularly from geography and economics itna geography economics mein sabse zyada facts hote hain polity mein to itna nahi hota polity mein concepts zyada hote hain to uske liye if you make a separate book to usse fayda kya hai notes to you are revising but the separate narrow book you can revisit any time to refresh your content aur use abhi nahi padhna kab padhna us fact ko लास्ट मूवमेंट में बिकॉज आप भूल जाओगे जैसे मान लेते हैं अभी आपने रट लिया कि फॉर एग्जांपल 85 परसेंट रूरल वाटर कम फ्रॉम सरफेस इन ग्राउंड भूल जाओगे कल तक तो बेस्ट इज वेन एवर यू फाइंड सच फैक्ट राइट देम इन अ बुक नैरो बुक एंड यूज दैट टू मंथ्स बिफोर द प्रिलिम्स टू मंथ्स बिफोर द प्रिलिम्स से पहले टच मत करना बिकॉज दर इज नो पॉइंट उससे पहले रिवाइज योर क्लास कंटेंट और वट एवर मैगजीन वट एवर रीडिंग दिस फैक्चुअल डेटा यू मस्ट रिमेंबर लाइक आर्टिकल ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन these factual data geographical position and all two months before the prelims rot learn that every day two hours maximum and by the time prelims will come you will already have this data aur kuch dinon mein bhul bhi jaoge aap dekhte hain article yaad karna bahut mushkil padta hai isliye padta hai to kyun time waste karna hum bhi kai baar article bhul jate hain aapko samajh mein aa raha hai you have to keep that in a separate book which you can revise any time you want but preferably two months before prelims I told you inefficient cropping pattern that rice wheat rice wheat rice wheat because of green revolution theek hai especially cultivation of water intensive crop aapko pata sugar cane and paddy paddy means rice sugar cane and paddy we are producing particularly punjab haryana is a victim of this and this is all because of green revolution <clears throat> next india's international trade in water intensive crops such as basmati rice contribute to significant virtual water loss so the biggest reason for india's water loss is irrigation the biggest source of pollution of water is irrigation based agriculture so uske liye what we need to do we need to move to better mechanism of irrigations like a sprinkler irrigation aapne dekha na for example gardens mein jo aapne dekhe hain gardens mein you have seen that sprinklers are working everywhere us tarah ke sprinklers or maybe drip irrigation drip mein you have to lay a complex network of piping system which delivers drops directly to the roots it is efficient it is productive also or it does not have ecological disaster the question is why then why why people are not not adopting this kyu technical knowledge you are expecting a farmer to lay a complex network of water and piping system nahi ho payega 
because every crop has different arrangement and for that every time you have to restructure the piping system maan lete you grow rice to uske liye alag structure banega then you are growing wheat or maan lete some vegetable uske liye alag structure banana padega so every time farmers have to do a lot of work and they do not prefer this add to this government gives subsidy on electricity agriculture electricity pe government gives subsidy so you have no incentive of doing this isliye suggestion is we should tax water it will be highly unpopular move but nonetheless it will bring productivity so aisa karna you have to tax water particularly irrigation water and from that money you do not keep that money give subsidy to piping systems sabko samjha how we have to do tax water so that farmer do not do flood irrigation and do not give agricultural subsidy on electricity save that money in a fund and give that subsidy in the form of your piping network system to so, sakega dono ka balance ban jayega that piping system will become cheaper because you are giving heavy subsidy and you will prevent water also so you are pushing farmers from flood to drip irrigation the way government is nowadays pushing for from electric and diesel vehicle to sorry uh, petrol and diesel vehicle to electric vehicle taxing petrol and diesel vehicle more collecting the money and giving subsidy to electric vehicle sabko samajh mein aaya the solution chaliye fine let's see about composite water management index niti aayog introduced this management index what it does is basically it evaluates states in india yes indian states what it does is it highlights which state is doing what in water management so that the state which are doing worse can improve their rank and which are the two ministry which helps this remember these ministry ministry of jal shakti and ministry of rural development so few facts you have to remember for prelims pehla who published this index niti aayog second who are the ministry involved here ministry of jal shakti and rural development and what it does it ranks state based on their water management practices theek hai these three points objective maine aapko samjha hi diya importance obviously baat hai ab what are the indicators used here dekhiye these are the indicators seven the indicators used in composite water management index is it has seven indicators with 20 28 indicators with seven categories i believe yes 28 indicators how many indicators are there 28 indicators with seven categories what are the categories ground water surface water irrigation watershed irrigation management on farm water water supply and governance so these are the indicator do not rot learn them have a rough idea ki kaun sa parameters mein nahi hai theek hai have a rough idea चलिए कैटेगराइजिंग स्टेट हाउ द स्टेट्स आर कैटेगराइज अंडर दिस इंडेक्स स्टेट्स आर कैटेगराइज इनटू थ्री कैटेगरीज नॉन हिमालयन स्टेट्स नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न एंड हिमालयन स्टेट एंड लास्टली यूनियन टेरिटरी व्हाई दिस कैटेगरी इफ यू हैव डन क्लासरूम प्रोग्राम पॉलिटी सॉरी इकोनॉमी इकोनॉमी में वी डू अ चैप्टर ऑफ फिजिकल पॉलिसी तो फिजिकल पॉलिसी में आई ऑफन टॉक अबाउट सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम्स एंड सेकंड थिंग वी टॉक अबाउट नोन एज special states this was a category which was given earlier a special state means if you get the category of special states the union government give extra revenue and special state like bihar up have been there a bihar is currently demanding special category state uh, special state category but modi government has abolished this category now rather than using the word special states they use the word northeast and himalayan state एट नॉर्थ एंड आपकी वो दो जो है क्या नाम है इसका उत्तराखंड एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड जम्मू कश्मीर थ्री स्टेट देर एट नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न द सेवन सिस्टर प्लस सिक्किम एंड द रिमेनिंग वन दीज आर कॉल्ड एज नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न एंड हिमालयन स्टेट दे आर गिवन स्पेशल प्रिवलेजेस वाई बिकॉज अंडरस्टैंड हिमालयन स्टेट पे यू कैन नॉट हैव इंडस्ट्रीज बन ही नहीं सकती हिमालयन स्टेट सर्वाइव ऑनली ऑन टूरिज्म वहां पे इंडस्ट्री बनाना इज वर्चुअली इम्पॉसिबल बिकॉज दीज आर इकोलॉजिकली सेंसिटिव जोन एंड दैट टू प्रोन टू अर्थ क्विक सिस्टम सो इफ यू आर मेकिंग अ फैक्ट्री देयर यू आर पोल्यूटिंग इन्वायरमेंट टू मच हिमालय पर बनाना ही मुश्किल है और बनाना अलाउड भी नहीं अंडर अंडर योर रेगुलेशन एंड एनवायरमेंट पर्टिकुलरली एनवायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट इफ यू रिमेम्बर प्रीवियस क्लास में वी डिस्कस दीज एक्ट वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट एनवायरमेंट प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट वी डिस्कस्ड